All right, Pierre TCG back with another local deck profile. You're gonna get two in one day here. Um, what do we have here today? Uh, I played Ice Barriers. Ice Barriers, all right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into it and we'll talk a little bit through it. Uh, so we play three Revealer. Um, the Structure decks came out and this card wasn't really all that great, but now that you have Mirror Mage, it's just absurd. Um, this is your one card starter. Um, came up today against flu it also has an effect that if you control another ice barrier your opponent can't tribute summon so that's disgusting yeah so against flu it was just an ftk um they couldn't play the game anymore so it's it's crazy um you can discard a um any card and then summon a tuner from your deck so a lot of times you go into the hexa and then hexa dumps you mirror mage and then you get into full combo from there um so this card is insane um, next, uh, new card, uh, Georgius of the Ice Barrier. Um, this card is also crazy, so a lot of times um, you'll have another Ice Barrier on field. Let's say like this gets impermed and you have this. Uh, since you control another Ice Barrier, you can just special it. And then if you have another Ice Barrier in hand, I believe it's level 5 or lower, you can just special it for free. So it get, it's a tuner, it's a level 6, so it plus like Revealer or any other level 4 gets you into your uh, boss monsters. Really, really good. Um, it also has an effect, just like a lot of the ice barriers, uh, floodgate of if you control an ice barrier, it's abyss dweller for monsters for your opponent. So super, super good. Love this card. Um, then we play another card that was released in the structure deck, uh, Speaker. Um, it's just basically an extender. If you control an ice barrier, you can summon it. And then if it's in graveyard, you can banish it to summon a ice barrier token. Um, you use this in the combo with the revealer to make Bahamut Shark, and then you make Toad on your fifth summon, so you're insulated for Nib, um, and then you can go into a draw four combo, which is really, really good. Uh, it does have another effect too, it's not really relevant, but um, if you control another ice barrier, your opponent's defense position monsters can't change their position. Um, Another new card, uh, I only opted to play two of the Mirror Mage. Um, you could make an argument for three of this, but I didn't think it was necessary just with how much access the deck has to it. Um, I think if you're playing the Runic variant, you probably bump this up just because you discard so much more. Um, but this card is insane. Um, it searches any Ice Barrier monster when it's sent from deck to grave. So when you go through the combo that summons Hexa, you use Hexa to send this, and then you just search uh, You search any ice barrier. So usually you'll grab this, and then that gets you into the Bahamut, into the Toad, and then you just kind of keep playing. Um, it's also a key part of your draw four combo, because you summon this back off Coral Anemone, and then send the Coral Anemone, and when you uh, tribute another monster, you summon up to three tokens, and then this gains level equal to the number of tokens sent, so it gets you into Coral Dragon, Banish the speaker, speaker summons another token, and then you have a crocosaur with three non-tuners, you draw four cards with the coral dragon. Um, crazy. Uh, just some floodgates, everybody loves them. Um, this is anti-spell if you control another ice barrier. And this came up a couple times today uh, that put people into some really awkward situations um, to resolve their monster effects on field. On resolution, they have to discard a card or it's negated. If they don't have cards to discard, they can't resolve their effects. So really good. Um, usually side these out if I'm going second. Um, then another water extender, just kind of generic. Uh, we played the level seven Ice Jade. Uh, you discard a water combos really really well with the mirror mage and then it's a free level 10 so you summon this by discarding summon a token boom you have a synchro 10 so very very strong forces a lot of plays out early um for spells we played three medallion it's just rota mandatory at three i don't have ultras unfortunately yet so um, you play the winds. Um, this card is good. It's just a one of. You can search it off of the mirror mage if you have to. Um, just really strong tribute level uh, tribute ice barrier monsters. How, for however many you tributed, you can summon that many level fours. Um, comes up if you get interrupted and you open this or are able to search it. 
um, extender summons back the mirror mage or any other level four or lower. So you can, there's times where like you activate this and summon back warlock if you sent it and you just already have them under anti-spell. Uh, that came up against runic today, it was really, really good. Um, two cradle uh, just searches the ice shade monster, um, not once per turn, can kind of come up. Uh, and that's it for main engine. Uh, for non-engine, uh, we're in a hand trap format, so we're just maxing out on them. We got three Ash, three Valor, two Droll, two Mourner, three Imperm. Um, I wasn't sure about Droll. I know going into this format uh, with Fiendsmith coming out, this is going to be really strong, so this might get bumped up to three then. Um, as of right now, until then, it, it was okay. It was fine. Um, these were all really strong though. I don't think I would really change which ones they are. I think these are I think these are all pretty standard at this point. If you're playing hand traps, I should say. Um, then the last three non-engine, we played two talents and the one called by. We just want our effects to resolve, and if they don't resolve, we want to be able to punish. So how many cards in the main? Uh, clean 40. Clean 40. Love to see it. Uh, extra deck. Uh, we play in Almirage. Um, this is literally just for if you only open Mirror Mage as a starter. You can normal the Mirror Mage, link it into this, and then kind of get your plays rolling from there. Uh, we play the Coral, um, as I mentioned, just kind of part of the combo. Being able to revive the Mirror Mage is really, really strong. Um, I think that's mandatory. I don't think you can play without that. Uh, we, I played an SP. It didn't come up once today. Um, you get locked into waters pretty frequently. Um, there are lines where you can like go into this first, but it kind of takes you out of the Coral and Emony play, so this could honestly be cut if you didn't want to play this. Uh, we play the Toad, Bahamut, um, not much to say, insulates you against Nib, um, Omni Negate adds back your Ice Barrier cards if you want. Uh, we play two of the new guy, uh, this card is Cracked. Um, just kind of forces your opponent into really weird game states where you're just summoning back ice uh, ice barrier monsters from hand, deck, or grave, or extra deck. Um, so you can floodgate them really easy depending on what they're playing. Uh, really strong, and if they out this, uh, if they out this card, let's say they destroy it, if it leaves the field at all as, as a cause of them, you can immediately then treat as a synchro summon either Trish or the Trish Zero. Um, this came up a couple times today. Um, against you, the Trish came up, thankfully. Um, <laughs> Cooked and, me. Yeah, um, just being able to punish them for interacting with this and hard summon the Trish, banish three or summon this one, and non-target banish three on field is super strong. Um, if they out this, if you so if you summon the Trish zero off of this and then they out this, then you can summon the normal Trishula. Dark Ruler no more their field, half all of their monsters attacks, and then this monster's attack becomes 3300. So just off this, they kind of have to play through all of them if they want to get rid of it, which is really, really strong. Um, just some kind of generic cards, some Synchro 10s. We played the Ice Jade, um, Cheng Ying. Um, this is pretty good if you're playing against a deck that wants to banish or destroy a lot. Um, same thing, if a deck wants to banish a lot, um, you lower all their attack, there's not much to say. Cheng Ying is just kind of goaded. Uh, Aura Whale, uh, I played this today. It didn't come up, but it has in testing a lot. You just regeki all of their attack position monsters. If it leaves field, uh, or I think if it's destroyed, um, you can banish a water, summon it back. Uh, really strong. Uh, spell Negate with Dragite, not a whole lot to say there. And then for the draw four combo, you just play the Coral Dragon and the Croca Dragon. Um, super strong, you can chain block it, so you're at least getting the draw three. Nice. Let's see uh, the quick extra or side deck here. And then for the side, um, nothing too crazy here. Um, played Nib. Um, didn't see it when I needed to today, but I think it was still strong. Um, we played the third Droll in the side for hand traps. Um, and then we played Double Storm, Duster, and Triple Cosmic. I hate back row. I don't <laughs> want to have Floodgates flipped on me. Um, I wanted to respect them, so I think Cosmic's a pretty solid choice. Then Lightning Storm just being good. Um, 
Uh, lastly, we play Double Thrust and 3D Barrier, uh, mainly for decks like Tenpai or Flu, um, or, excuse me, not Flu, or basically any shifter deck, right, that's gonna activate it. You at least end on like a D Barrier, or if you're going second, um, you know, Lightning Storm, Duster, uh, just good cards overall, so. Um, any changes that you'd make to the deck? Um, I might test it out with maybe the third Mirror Mage. It seemed it seems strong. Um, you just don't really want to open multiples because it doesn't do too much. But um, might test out the Runic version. Barrier statues gross, but so far <laughs> uh, this deck was nasty. I dropped two games the whole day, so pretty good. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. I do hope you have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you later.